Good night, good night. Have one done tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Armand Jail Spirit Divine. I'm here to give you a word on tonight. Jacko visit Moses. Now, Jacko is uh, Moses' father in law. And it's going to come from Exodus chapter 18, verse 1 through 27. And we're still doing Bible study. You know, so now Moses' father in law, Jacko, he came to visit him, you know, and he heard. Everything that God had did for him in the Israelite. You know, that's what I'm saying. The word get out quick. You know, the word get out quick. You know, he wasn't even with them. But he heard about God had took care of them. You know, now Moses had sent away his wife and his um and his two children to his own um, father. You, you know, once he stood on his purpose, you know, he had sent his wife and his two kids to his father-in-law. But then the father-in-law bringing them, bringing them back. You know, so uh, he received her and the two sons. And Moses said his father, father-in-law God was, you know, Moses was telling his father-in-law that God, God was his helper. You know, God was his helper. He said God had saved him from the swan of Pharaoh. You know, so Moses had sent his wife and two sons to the father-in-law, but he brought them back to him. Moses had camped out near the wilderness and, and Moses went out to meet his father, father-in-law. You know, and when he, he when he met his father in law, he bowed down. You know, I don't know if y'all remember I put the package out when he when Moses freed from Pharaoh, you know, um he had ended up in a um in a desert, in a in um in federal um land, you know, and he was so nice to his daughters, so he gave his one of his daughters to him. So when he first met him he bowed down. So he is a, a polite man, you know, he bowed, he bowed down. You know, and kiss him. That's how they did the first time. So now this is what Moses does when he had saw him the first time when he met him. They greet each other and they went into Moses' tent. You know, so Moses had told his father-in-law about everything that went on. You know, how God had put the, the put the plans and all kind of stuff on Pharaoh and all his people. You know, Moses had just told him everything that had went on because it was amazing to see God work his power like that, you know, so, um, and he also, he also told them about, um, the hardship they had, you know, because, you know, when, when, um, the Israelite them was out, it, it was obstacle after obstacle, situation after situation, you know, so they kept on having hardship, but God saved them every time, and they had met along the way, and how the Lord had saved them, God had saved them every time, so his father-in-law was delighted to hear about all the good things, you know, that God had done for um for him in the Israelite. Rescued him from the hand of the Egyptians. You know, so Jeff Jethro, you know, he prays. He prays God. You know, he prays God who rescued all of y'all. You know, and now now he know that the Lord is greater than all the gods that everybody trying to praise. You know, he said God. Is greater than all the rest of God, you know, because see, God has showed his power. So to let them know I am the only God that can do this here, you know, so that's what he's saying. I know that that's the Lord is greater than all the other small gods, you know, for he did this to those who had threat, who had threatened Israel, you know. So now um, the father in law was so pleased with all, with all that God had done, you know, uh, he wanted to give a burnt offering. A burnt offering and sacrifice, you know, to God, you know, and Aaron had came with all the elders of the Israel to eat a meal with Moses and his father-in-law, you know, uh, in the God in the presence of God. So Jacob's visit turned out to be a reunion. It turned into a large celebration, you know, and the Israelites frequently share a sacrifice meal among themselves. A burnt offering was sacrifices to God, and then the meal turn into a ceremony as the fellowship at dinner. You know, so he came to visit Moses, you know, because he heard about his God, and also he brought his wife and the kids so he could see him, because remember, he shipped them off when he started his purpose, you, you know. And so while he was there, you know, everyone else, you know, they, they was pleased that his father-in-law was there, you know, and they made it out of celebration. You know, they fixed a meal and everything, and they sit down and ate in their fellowship. So now the next day, you know, you know Moses, he he dealing with two million Israelites, 
you know, and you know they take all their problems to Moses. Just be screaming, hollering at Moses, you know. So now the next day, Moses took his seat to serve as judge for the people, and they stood around him, you know, from morning to evening. You know, there's a lot of them, you know, and they're, and they're taking turns coming to Moses with all their problems. So now we know that Israel bring all their problems to Moses, you know, and he translated to God. So Moses was spending so much time and energy hearing the Israelite complaints, you, you know, and that he could not get no other important work done, you know. So they're coming to him with their issues all the way from morning to evening. You know, so now his father-in-law, now his father-in-law standing right there. While Moses had to sit down, take him a seat, you know, and have everybody just coming around here, just tell him all, all their problems, you, you know. So, uh, so now the, now the father-in-law, the father-in-law see him, seeing everybody coming around him. He, he kind of confused, you know, so he's he telling Moses, what is this? What is this going on? You know, what what is this? What is you doing? You know, so he said, Jacob said, what is this, you know, is going on? Why do you alone sit as a judge? <laughs> you know, so uh, Moses answered him because the people come to him to seek God. They come to him to seek God. You know, instead of him trying to teach these, these people how to have their own connection with God, he just sit there being a judge and, and deal with everybody that comes to him with his problem that take him from morning to night to deal with all that. You know, so uh so whenever they have um every 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 any time they have a situation, you know, it is brought to him and he decides between the parties and information, you know, them of God that degree and instruction. You know, he they give him all their problem. He decide if it's big enough, you know, to um to give to God and God give him instructions, then he give instructions to them. And that's how Moses been doing it. So Moses led the Israel Israelite as a prophet. He he got he guide, you know, intersection, teachers, lawyer, a judge. He all those things to them. And he was excuse me. And he was, sorry about that, and he was trying to be all the things that Israelite wanted him to be, you know, but it was too much for him to handle, you know. He got two million people he's trying to handle, and he's trying to answer everybody's problems that come to him, and then he, he, he decides if it's big enough to take to God, and then he translated to God, and God gave him instruction, and he gave it to them. So that was a lot of hard extra work that Moses had put on his own self. You know, so now the father-in-law replied, what are you doing? It is not good the way you're doing it. You know, it will only wear yourself out. And Moses, whoa, whoa, oh, you know, come in with your side, put the pegs out when they came to him. Won't y'all test the Lord? He ain't got tired and frustrated. You know, so the work is too heavy for him. You know, you cannot handle it alone. So this, you know, his father-in-law gave him a good advice. You know, he said, listen, the father-in-law said, listen to me. Listen to me. You know, he will give Moses a good advice. You know, may God be with you. You know, so he stated that Moses, you know, be the people representative, you know, before God and bring their debut to him. Bring your problem. Had to bring, bring the problems to God. You know, teach them. You know that his that his degree in instruction and show them the way they are to live, and how they are to behave. You know because you you know they can be rude. The Israelite, you know, why you brought me out here? You know just be cutting up. Remember yesterday? You know most feel like they wanted to stone him. You know they was cutting up so bad. You know so they they doing all this shit carrying on in front of the father in law, but he had to step in and try to give Moses some good advice. Because see, Moses is wearing himself off. That's why he be all, all tired and stuff. He already at that little age. And you know, you know, so fortunately his his wise father-in-law saw that he was wearing himself out. He saw. Now he was just there visiting. And he, he noticed all these things. He noticed that Moses was all worn out. You know, so uh, the father-in-law made a great suggestion that you can't do it alone. 
share the burden with, with a trust friend and now Israelite is to side their uh their themselves. You know, so he so Father Lord telling him they need to start deciding itself, you know, by themselves. You know, and if they feel like, you know, you got to teach them, you know, to have a connection with God, you know, take it to the God themselves. You know, he treating all of them like their children, you know, but select capable um, men, you know, from all the people, the men who feel God, trustworthy, you know, and the men who hate this honor, gain it, um, apparently, them to a, a, a official, you know, over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens, you know, he telling them, divide them, you know, divide them in thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens, you know, have them to serve as judges for the people, all the time, but have them to bring every difficult case to you. You know, now he telling them the simple case, you know, they can take that to God. You know, they can take that to God. Now, now the uh, difficult cases, you know, Moses said he would, uh, he would translate it to, uh, to God, you know, but he learned them, the little simple cases don't come to him, you know, go straight to God. You know, so, um, but have them to bring difficult cases to you and simple cases they can decide themselves. You know, he letting Moses that will make that will make your load lighter, you know, because they will share it with you. But if you do this and God so command, you will be able to stand the strength. You know, and all these people will have go home, will go home satisfied. You know, now Moses' father in law gave him a good advice. That's a good advice because he's been doing all this stuff by himself, putting a heavy load on him while he, while he just weighing himself out, weighing himself out. Now, he continued on taking the difficult um, um, problems and he translated to God, you know, but the simple stuff, you know, the Father in the Lord said, let them sort that out themselves. And whatever they can sort out, help them to have their own connection with God. You know, so now Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything he said. And he chose capable men from all the Israel and made them leaders of the people official. You know, so he making them leaders. Learning how to make leaders like he did Joshua yesterday. Now, out of a thousand, hundred, fifty, and ten, that's the group that's supposed to be, uh, supposed to be, um, taken to be as leader. You know, so, uh. Now, Moses recognized, now after his father-in-law got through talking, he recognized the good advice that his father-in-law had given him. You know, he heard it, you know, and so he acted upon it, placing capable leaders over groups of the Israelites. Man, the father-in-law told him to put in groups for 100,000 and tens in groups, you know. So Moses' father-in-law let Moses, you know, that he let Moses know that he can't do everything, you know, everyone would like us to do everything for them but we have they're just like a, like our kids you, you know when they get a certain age time for them to learn how to wash the dishes time for them to know how to wash clothes straighten their bed up you know we have to because a lot of time we are kept parents we're still cleaning up and doing stuff for for teenagers when they ought to be learning how to do that themselves because that's the father-in-law telling him you know learn them how to have a connection with god you know they're bringing all the problems to you you know, you weighing yourself out, dealing with every situation, you know. So, um, trying to be all things to all people put us on a fast track to a uh, burnt out. And that's what Moses was. That's why he was cranking a lot of time, you know, like yesterday. You know, you put God, put, put him to the test. He was getting frustrated because he getting tired and burnt out. You know, so they serve as justice for the people at all times. You know, the difficult cases... You know, they brought to Moses, but the simple ones, they decide themselves. You know, so then Moses sent his father-in-law on his way, and, Jack, and, and his father-in-law returned to his own country. You know, so after father-in-law gave him a good advice, you know, he took and left some him away, and he went on to his own, own town, own country. So now we see that his father-in-law came at the right time, you know, to give Moses good advice. Now, he came at the right time to give Moses good advice, you know, because Moses was burning, Moses was just burning himself out. You know, he already, already know, it was right in front of his father-in-law, he just took a seat, you know, to be a judge, and everybody just come around him with his problems and stuff, all the way to morning to evening. 
you know, while the father-in-law um, still sitting there waiting, you, you know, he came there to visit Moses, you know, while Moses working. You know, he's seeing how Moses all burnt out. You, you know, we got all the people, the Israelites sitting around him, and it's getting evening time, getting nighttime, and he's still solving problems. You know, that because Moses was burnt, he was burnt out, you, you know, and being a judge to two million Israelites. That's a lot of people he leading. You know, so now they're able to connect with God, you know, and handle their own problems. And that's what most of has should have been there. But see, the father-in-law came at the right time. He came at the right time, you know, to see, be a witness how Moses was doing everything. And he gave Moses the good advice. You know, he gave him a good advice. You know, so that's the um that's the story on um, Moses' father-in-law. Came and visit Moses, and he visited at the right time because the way Moses was was uh, was handling everything, you know, Moses was just burning himself out. It was just too much on his plate, you know. And his father-in-law, we see how wise he is. He gave him a good advice, you know, and we see how Moses followed, you know, he followed his instruction and did what he said, and everything is working out fine for so far, you know. So they still on their journey, you know, trying to get to their promised land. You know, so that's all the word I have for y'all today. And I'll see y'all on the next video. And have a blessed night.